And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Toronto Blue Jays. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And our starting pitcher here today, Ross Stripling. Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve. And because of that, it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter. That makes it that much harder to hit this guy. Okay, all set to go. Now, Wander Franco. Leading off the afternoon for the wind today. of the pitch. The shortstop. Wander. And first offering Wander. is fouled off. First pitch, one o'clock. That's ripped. Base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nine. Batting second. Lau at the plate. Brandon Lau. No outs. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Left hand hitter waits and fouled off. Bronco gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And that's roll two. And that one goes straight to the backstop. Throw to second. Not in time. He's there easily. That in third. The and now the hitter, G-Man Choi. Hey, we got one out here. In there for strike one. One out and a runner at second. Hey, let's hold him right here. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Man at second. Got him. Now two away. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Now it's Randy or Rosarena. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two outs and one in scoring right position. Now. Next offering misses, and the count is one and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Here's a one one. Out in front and foul to the left side. The pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Runner at second, two down. Next one off the plate inside, and that's ball three. Runner leads away at second. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And a swing and a miss. Third out. 
I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Bottom of the first. And starting this one is Corey Kluber. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. New inning getting started. Yandy Diaz now. Leading off to the race. Here's a strike. The third baseman, number two, Yandy Diaz. No outs. Right hander kicks deals. Slow roller to third. Chapman collects. Leadoff man oh. retired here in the second. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled That's over it. on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Manuel. Here's Manuel Margot. And first offering is fouled off. Here we go, guys. Let's go. One down, base is empty. Ball one there. Aside to home plate duty is Ricky Holiday. Boog, and something I've heard players saying about Ricky's strike zone is how he will call the high strike. That could be something that's tough to deal with, especially if you've got a guy out there coming at you with high velocity. And he lays down a bunt. And he grabs it. Foul. No score here in the second. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. We got three and two. And Marco able to spoil that one. Next offering is foul back. Three, two. Swing and a ball popped up, and that one gets down. Fair ball. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Man, that was a pretty good battle at the plate, and I'll tell you, it feels pretty good as a hitter when you grind out a hit like that. Good job getting the foot down so he could catch it out front and pull it. Turn on it nicely for the knock. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. David Peralta at the plate. And that's in there for strike one. One away, one away. Righty delivers. That misses the zone. And the count even one and one. pitch in the dirt blocked to second but way too late safe there Marco the runner at second with one away pitch misses now three and one On the ground, right side. Espinal picks it up, tosses to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. Back. 
batting eight, the center fielder, Kevin Kiermaier. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. That one's in there, 0 1. Hey, plays at one now. And the righty deals. Late that time, and it's strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then. By the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Next offering upstairs. Tough take right there. He swings at that more often than not. And a ball in two strikes. Stays alive. No score yet, but a runner at third with two away. The one two bounding ball here rolls foul. And the right hander deals. And that one fouled off. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Two outs. And that one wrapped foul. The one, two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Bell having such a tough time putting him away. Six foul balls in a row. Man, what a battle. Here's a one, two. He swings and fouls one off. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is way upstairs. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Kicks and deals. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. I'll tell you, with pitch counts being such a big consideration in today's game, an amazing fight at the plate like this ends up being incredibly valuable. Running that pitch count up, no matter what the. Ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back now in Toronto, on to the third inning. Here's Mike Zanino. Leading off for Tampa Bay. The First oh, offering, and it oh. just misses. Zanino. And it's fouled away. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. Righty to the plate. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. That one back. And it's gone. Mike Zanino pops one out of here. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0.
Well, he almost robbed the home run right there, and I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that, and so close, but that one was just out of his reach. Back to the top of the lineup, now batting Wander Franco. The batter, number five. First offering, misses the mark. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Nobody on, nobody out. The Rays leading on the solo homer. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. Ball on a strike. Bounce to the left side. And base hit. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a cookie yeah, down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just wow. hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And now it's Brandon Lau. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. In there for strike one. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next offering is fouled back. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup and one away in the top of the third. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep now the hands back long enough and baseman. played right Demand. into Joy. the hands of the pitcher. G Man Choi will hit next. First pitch oh, and he just back. misses. Swings through that one for strike one. Franco stands at first with one out. Next offering is downstairs. I got two one the count. Left hand batter waits. In the air, right side of the infield. Espinal brings it in, out number two. Now batting, designated hitter, Randy Orozarena. Man at first, now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Randy Orozarena. And that's in there for strike one. Pitch. First offering. Runner goes. Ball misses. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. And welcome back. And now the DH, Randy Arozarena. First pitch oh, just game. misses. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. And now it's even one and one. Come on, fellas. Let's go. The pitch. So now one and two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean. That slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Cut on and miss. Struck him out and one away. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound the because baseman, if they two. get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up 
a pitch that a guy hits over the fence and it's a multi run home run. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a ball popped up. Espinal makes the catch, and there's two away. The right fielder, number 13, Manuel Margot. Manuel Margot up to the plate. All right, come on now. Hey. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Righty delivers. And there's a ball. 1 0. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it 1 and 2. Bounce to the right. Espinal picks it up over to first. And that will end the inning. Nothing doing for Tampa, but they lead it one to nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. Now up for Tampa Bay, David Peralta. Leading off for Tampa Bay. There's the strike. David Peralta. The why to kick the pitch off the plate and it's one and one next offering is fouled back hey, come on now get him yourself the wind in the pitch and he hits a ground ball right side he steps on the bag and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now batting, the center fielder, Kevin Kiermaier. Here's Kiermaier now. Up the middle, Espinal gloves it. Two up, two down. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then even more impressive was the, the throw. Man. Off balance, the had to try to Mike. end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Yeah, the batter now, Mike Zunino. The wind of the pitch. Fought off foul. The 1 1. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Kicks and fires. And it's even up. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Down in order. Go the Rays. Still tied. 1-1. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Tim Meza. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.